Good morning, church. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. This is the last day of what may have seemed like the longest month in any of our lives, at least until next month. But we are experiencing something very unique. But we still hold together in this. We are still one together. And we enjoy this fellowship that we have, even though it's in a different form than we've ever had it before. We have been deeply touched by the number of people that have been watching these podcasts. It's been very encouraging to us to have so many watching through the day and actually on other days as well. It's been encouraging to us, and we hope that it's been encouraging to you. We hope to continue to give you these daily bits of encouragement. Last Friday, Ryan did his first podcast, and then he did another yesterday. Uh, when he started that first podcast of his last Friday, it occurred to me that I have the ability to destroy any good that might have been done by these podcasts. Ryan started out by singing. Now Ryan can do that. Ryan is a gifted song leader. He's a talented young man. He can sing beautifully, and when he sang to us, we enjoyed that song. If I would do that, you wouldn't listen to the rest of the podcast, and you might not ever listen again. We would lose people all over the place, and it would be a sad situation. So I'm not going to sing to you today. Instead, I'm going to bring you another thought that I hope might be encouraging for your day. With this social distancing that we're having to practice, many of us are at home now. Some are working from home. Some are at home because their jobs have been temporarily suspended. Uh, but we are thrust together with no school. And, and so families are together now in a way that we never have been before. And in some of those things, it can be very, very good. And yet it can be also be very, very stressful. We want to give you some ideas today that might carry you on even through these difficult times. I want to understand that people are choosing to spend their days in different ways. Some are actually choosing to eat these days away. Some are shopping online. Some are cleaning house like they've never cleaned house before. Maybe they're cleaning out a cluttered garage or some closets. Different people are using these these, these cramped together days in some very unusual ways. And in things that we've thought that we always wanted to do, well, here we are. And so we're together. And yet this can be stressful. So in keeping with getting things done, I want to present to you today the first of two parts. I'll do the other part tomorrow of the Christian's ultimate to-do list. I didn't make up this list. The Apostle Paul did when he was writing to the Christians in Galatia. In chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, we know them as the fruit of the Spirit. Let me suggest these are great things to work on, especially now that many of us are cooped up with family. We each have in our power the ability to influence how others look back on this time. These days might, in fact, be the happiest days that families have ever had because they've had time together. It could also be that these are more stressful and things can get out of hand. So let's look at the list of what God would like us to accomplish. First of all, Christians are to love. This is an obvious task. We've talked about this much. It's to be the defining characteristic of the Christian life. And so we are to love. Now here we are thrust together and we're forced to practice love maybe on a new level. This is maybe the very best time to show the love for the people that are around you. It's maybe sometimes hard in a house when you're not able to get out. Sometimes it's hard to do when people actually annoy each other. So, I want to say to you, break that pattern. Parents, do some things with your kids. Kids, do some things with your parents. You might end up playing a video game together. 
you might dig out one of those old board games and play that. You might all be surprised at how much fun it is to actually just spend time together, not concerned about other things in the world, but just being focused on family. Parents, listen to your kids. Kids, listen to your parents. Actually talk with each other. Spend some time. It doesn't really matter what you do, but I would say to you Christians, bend yourself at this time into something other than a grouchy parent or a cantankerous kid. In all these things, work on loving your family. You can show your love for others as well. There are some of us are having some limited contact with people outside of our homes. Figure out a way to show your appreciation for them. Send them an email telling them how much they are valued. Send them a card giving them something to think about that makes them feel good about your relationship. Anyway, whatever it takes, do something that shows love for someone other than yourself. Secondly, Christians are to practice joy. Now, I didn't say just be joyful. This fruit of the Spirit is something you actually do. Joy. Again, does your family see joy in you? It's up to you to allow that joy to be seen. And if you're having a hard time finding joy at this most unusual time, let me remind you of a few things. You are facing this crisis with a hope that others do not have. Christians, we have promises from God that allow us to see past the temporary nature of this time. We have a hope that is deep within us, and therefore we are a privileged people. And we are privileged in other ways as well. We live at a time in which the technology of our day and the medical sciences of our day are able to meet this crisis in a way that could never have been dreamed of in previous decades. And so help is on the way. And this situation that we face is probably going to peak within a few weeks, and then it will die down, and then we will learn better how to handle this. But we are living at a privileged time as well. But more than all of that, Christians, let me remind you that God is great, that Christ is king, and that this world with all of its trouble is temporary. And finally, for today, the third thing on our to-do list, Christians are to be at peace. How many times did Jesus start a conversation in a difficult time, a troublesome time, and he started that conversation by saying something about peace? It's something that he wants us to experience. It's something, it is a gift of God to us that can be exhibited in our life that then is given to other people as well. Work on this one, Christians. We are to be a people of peace, resting in the care of our loving God. What can the world do to us? What can a virus do to us? We have the promises of God. The God who created this universe is the God who lovingly holds us in his hands. He offers us peace. So, there's your to-do list for today. Love, joy, peace. If you work on these things, this day may be one of the best you've ever had. Go, make this a great day. Bye for now.